Okay. All right, guys. So, um, like I said, I'm Jennifer Pearson, and um, in this training, this is basically the kickoff of our four-week new ambassador training program, and I love that we've been doing this. Um, we've only been doing it for four or five months, I think, and each week you have a different leader of the team who's going to just kind of cover different topics that we think are going to really help get you off to a good start, both with the products and with the business. And um, if you're not already in the Facebook page, make sure that you get in that Facebook page. And we just post like once a day in there, but feel free to ask questions or, you know, be interactive. I mean, that's for you guys. So, you know, do what you want with it, but the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. So um, don't be scared to like comment and post and ask questions and stuff like that. So each week you'll have a different leader doing a 30 minute training call on a different topic. So tonight you have me. Um, let me go down here. So first of all, I like to make sure that you're successful in the products because first and foremost, you have to love the products. You have to um, feel passionate about them so that you can genuinely share them with others. And so I wanna make sure that you're on the road to loving the products and having your own amazing testimony. Um, so work with your sponsor if you have questions on how to take whichever regimen you're taking because you know not everybody takes the same thing most people do start on the triplex and you know we really like to start slowly um, adding products one by one so you can see how they're working with your body um, before adding more and increasing the dosage but um, we usually start with slim and uh, bio cleanse Bioclans you want to take on an empty stomach. Slim, most people take first thing in the morning. Some people like to take it around lunchtime to get them through the day. Um, there's no caffeine, so it's not going to keep you up. Um, and then you just day by day add more. So once you get to day four, you can add in one probi 5. Probi 5 is the one that's going to eventually put you into detox, which we really, really want. I get super excited when my customers tell me they're feeling detox symptoms because that means, yay, your body is getting rid of the crud and you're going to feel amazing when you get through it. So look forward to going through detox. I want everybody to do that. That's when you get great results is once you've gone through it. So day four through 10, you're adding in ProBio 5 before bed and you're increasing your bio cleanse, which is the one that helps get all of those toxins um, out of your body. And then day 11, you go up even more on your ProBio 5 and bio cleanse. You wanna get to about four a day because most people don't get into detox until they're doing about four a day. So um, don't get scared. They put very small amounts in each one of those ProBio 5 so that you could just gradually work your way up. Um, X factors are amazing vitamin. If you're taking that, take two a day with a meal and block is the one that reduces uh, sugar and carbs by up to 48%. You also can take those with a meal. You can just take one or two with your meal. Um, Vital Biome is our other probiotic that I really recommend you're starting with ProBio 5 and then add in Vital Biome because you want to weed out the bad before you start populating with the good. But um, you want to take that, one of them, first thing in the morning and try to wait about 30 minutes before taking Slim and then eating. Vega X's are Omega and you're going to take two of those before bed and then you sleep amazing. Um, and then if you're taking Accelerator, Booster, Edge, those are the ones that do have caffeine. So you don't want to take it too late in the day. Take it with food and start with one a day before increasing to two just to get your body used to it. All right. Let me look through here and see anyone have any questions on that. You can raise your hand. No, you guys are good. Okay. So. Here are just a few tips that I want you to be aware of to get the most out of the products. First of all, it's like brushing your teeth. You have to do it every single day to get the best results. Um, and you really do have to give it time because it's also like going to the gym where you can't do it for a week and expect to have amazing results. You have to really give it time to get your body healthy. Um, drink half your body weight in ounces of water. The water is so crucial. Um, if you're not a water drinker, really try to focus on doing that, uh, getting your water in because it's going to help, again, flush out the fat and the toxins that the products are releasing. Um, if you are 
working on weight loss, first of all, I recommend you join our 21 day jumpstart program that we've got going on right now. It just launched today. Um, if you're not in it and you want to be added, let us know. But try to eat a high protein breakfast, low carb, low sugar is going to help your slim work even better. And y'all take your before picture and take your measurements as a way to judge your progress because the scale is not going to be a good judge of the progress because it's only um, looking at the number. But your number is going to be different with Plexus because it reduces inflammation and it does not burn muscle, which is a great thing. But you're not going to see the scale move as fast at the beginning. Um, so I already said commit to 60 days. 60 days is really the minimum to start seeing changes in your body. And why not give it that amount of time? Because they have that rolling 60 day money back guarantee. So don't cut yourself short by not giving it that full 60 days before you decide if it's really working for you. Um, we already talked about start slowly and add products one at a time and build up. And when I talked about the detox symptoms, here are some of the ones you're going to be looking for. You might have a headache. You might feel super tired and have fatigue. You could have bloating, um, a rash, insomnia. Um, it comes in so many different ways. It could be nausea, um, acne. There's so many different things that is your body's way of trying to get it all out. And so we have ways that we can help you with that if you start to feel those things. But first and foremost, make sure you're drinking more water and increasing your bio cleanse to help flush it all out. Um, I did say Accelerator and Boost and also Edge have caffeine. So just make sure if you're on any kind of medication, especially like blood pressure, heart meds, check with your doctor or your pharmacist to just make sure that they're fine with you taking that. And if you are taking any medications, we have a lot of people who are on like thyroid meds, things like that. Space that out three hours from your Plexus products so that um, it doesn't dilute the effectiveness. And our Ease uh, product line is the one that helps with pain and inflammation. They are shellfish based. So if you have a shellfish allergy, you might need to stay away from that. And, and make sure that when you are sharing these products with other people, that you tell them that too. Um, and, and really, you want to make sure that you save this somewhere so that when you are eventually sharing with other people, you can share these tips with them because you want them to be super successful too. So you're going to follow up with them every few days at the beginning to make sure they're being consistent and they're drinking their water and see if they're having any detox symptoms, things like that. When I follow up with people, I don't say, what do you think of the products? Because that means they're going to be analyzing, is there any bad? Here's the good. Is there any bad? I like to keep it all positive and say, what are you loving about your products? Don't you love the taste of it? What benefits are you noticing? And then I will actually ask them, are you noticing any detox symptoms yet? Because it keeps reminding them I'm looking for that so that as soon as I start having a headache, I go, ah, this is what she was talking about. Um, ask questions and uh, that, that are open-ended so that they'll respond to you. Um, let's see. And yeah, it's best to review with your doctor or your pharmacist if you have any specific health conditions that you um, want to make sure, you know, these are such safe products. I mean, we have OBGYNs that are recommending these left, right, and center to their pregnant <laughs> and nursing patients. I mean, they're so safe, but we always want to be very, very um, cautious just to be sure it's not going to, you know, have any effects with other medications that are being taken and things like that. All right, so that is the product side of things. Um, I also just like to throw in there, it's super important to have your convenience order on. And I think people get scared. Oh my gosh, it's a monthly shipment and it might go out. I'm not expecting it. You know, you can set up your order and then change it every single day. You can cancel it any single day up until the day before it ships. So the reason why you want it on is, first of all, it's like I said, it's super important to be consistent with these products and give it time. So if you don't have your convenience order in place and you forget to place your order and then you're out of product, you've lost your rhythm, you have to, you know, pick back up and start over. Um, this just makes sure you're consistent with your products. And also, if you are working on growing a business and building a team, it makes sure that you get paid. You really want to make sure you get paid, that you've hit 100 PV each month so that you get paid on any team that you have underneath you. And we'll go more into the comp plan and how that works um, later in the month. But I just want you to know that that is really there for you to make sure that um, you, oops, 
playing around with my mouse and it just starts moving um, to make sure that you get paid. Okay, so why do you want to possibly share Plexus? I mean, some people jump right in knowing I want to work this business and other people are like, well, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I might share with a couple people, um, but they're not all in yet. But what I know is that the research shows that if you do something with a group of friends, if you have that kind of accountability, you're more likely to stick with the program, stick with taking your products and getting the results that you originally wanted anyway on these products. So right there, in and of itself, that's a great reason to do it. Just grab some friends and say, let's do this together and let's hold each other accountable. Um, the other thing is, I guarantee you have people in your life who need these products. I promise. There are so many people in your life. When I started sharing about everything that these products can do for people out of the woodworks, I had friends messaging me saying, oh my gosh, I have IBS or I have an autoimmune disease or I have migraines or I have just been so tired. I have no energy anymore. or I'm not sleeping well at night. And um, you're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. You have an answer to what they're dealing with. And if for any reason they felt like it didn't help them, they get all their money back. So you never have to worry about recommending these products to people. Um, and we know that if we can even get two or three people ordering through your website and you're getting all or most of your products paid for, you're gonna be more likely to stick with it, right? Because I know how it is. I mean, we all have those months where something may come up and your car broke down or your child wants to go to camp or, you know, you want a family trip or whatever it is. And you're kind of stuck making that hard decision of, okay, there's only so much, you know, discretionary funds. What is it going to go towards? I don't want you to ever have to worry about being able to afford your Plexus products. That is the very minimum of what we can help you do is to get the cost of your products covered. Super easy, I promise we can help you do that. All right, so here's basically how you can do that. Um, if you are taking your triplex and you have one friend purchase the triplex through your website, you already have $37.40 helping to cover the cost of your products. Did you know you get paid even on your own purchases? Even if you never sell and you never have anybody order besides yourself or your own products, you get paid commission on everything over the first $100. So I think that's amazing. You get a paycheck just on your own orders. Um, if you happen to get three friends who want to order the triplex and you have your own order, you're already covering the cost of your products. You have almost $112, you're covering your triplex. And if you get five friends ordering from your website, place your order, now you've kind of hit that magic number where you're at $500, 500 PV we call it, of um, sales through your website. So your commission jumps up to 25%, and now you're making $244. And from there, anybody else you add on, you're getting 25% commission, and it really, really starts to add up. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, we could help you find five people to order through your website. All right, so I want to show you, you know, if you're trying to decide if you want to dabble in this a little bit and maybe just cover the cost of your products, work it kind of as a side thing and, you know, make enough to have some extra income coming in or go all in and truly make a whole living out of this, you can make a fantastic living out of it. It's up to you how much you want to do, but I just want to show you what the potential is. So if you are even just a silver ambassador is our first rank up, um, that averages $422 a month, which is a card payment. I mean, that is serious money for something you're just kind of dabbling in. You've got three people who've joined you in this. Um, but it goes all the way up. So I am an Emerald Ambassador right now so this is my status and so my next rank up will be sapphire my sponsor is diamond and she's actually diamond senior gold i believe so you can go back in underneath yourself again once you hit diamond so she and i went to high school together i've known her a long time Roz Payne, and um she makes fifty three thousand dollars a month which is crazy right but um you know she just added people to her team, they add people to their team, they add people to their team, and it just kind of takes off. So 
It's pretty amazing. The Plexus Comp Plan is the most generous comp plan of any of them out there. They, they give 50% of their profits back to their ambassadors. And one of the things that makes it super unique is that in a lot of these companies, there are very few people at the top of the company making a whole lot of money, but everybody else below them makes almost nothing. <laughs> I mean almost nothing. I have people who come from pretty much every company out there <laughs> over to Plexus, and it's really funny when they tell me that they make more in one month with Plexus than they made in a year or multiple years with the company that they were with. So I never did any other network marketing company before. I never looked into it before. Like I said, I just kind of accidentally fell into this business because I love the products. But now I've compared comp plans and I've had so many people come from different companies that I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the most generous comp plan out there. And, um, you know, you probably have already been told all this from your sponsors, but just the fact that the business model is so efficient that you don't have any inventory, you're not, um, you know, handling, taking orders or delivery or any of that, it's not even a party business, right? You're not going to somebody's house and showing Tupperware or the latest leggings or whatever it is. It's all online. So it's super, super efficient. Um, and if it weren't, I probably wouldn't be doing this business because I would still be in corporate America if it was still going to take that much time um, for me to work it, honestly. Um, let me see. I think we have somebody join us. I was just going to see who it is. Hold on. Let me scroll through. If y'all have any um, questions, speak up. Well, you're muted, so you can't, but raise your hand. <laughs> okay. So this is the upline that I was talking about. This is me down here with my little kiddos. This is my friend Ross Payne that I went to high school with. And she joined under her um, best friend, Celeste Gwynn, who joined under her college roommate, um, Jen Hawkins. And these are the average incomes by rank, but I know these people personally, so I know that they're higher. So Celeste makes about, I think it's 700, $750,000 a month, <laughs> which is totally insane. But um, it's just, I like to show this because it shows that your entire upline, all of these people have made it to the very top of the company. So we learn from the very, very best, the best of the best, and we pass that down. And that's how our team is successful and how they continue to rank up. So you're in good hands. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So I like to first say, if you're interested in doing the business, I want you, and this is going to be a homework assignment this week, and all homework assignments are voluntary, right? This is, you're in business for yourself. Um, but really try to think about what your why is. Like, why are you doing this business? And your why can change over time. Right now, it might just be, I want to cover the cost of my products so I don't feel guilty spending that money on myself. Because, right, as a mom, we always feel guilty spending money on ourselves. But um, maybe it eventually changes, and your why is, I want to, pay for my kids extracurricular activities because there's things they want to do that you can't afford right now. Or maybe it's your, you want to pay for your college uh, tuition for your kids so that they don't graduate with debt. Or maybe you just want to think big and dream big and um, have a vacation home somewhere. We have some people working towards that. And Roz, my sponsor is working towards that right now too, which is amazing. They've already paid off their house and remodeling it. And now they're building their um, vacation home in Colorado. That's next. So you really need to think about what's going to get you up out of bed and what's going to motivate you even on the hard days. Cause in this business, you don't have a boss. So if you have a hard day, cause your best friend that you were sure was going to join your team didn't join, you still need to have a reason that you're going to keep going. And by the way, she may join you six months later or a year later. You never know. People come around. <laughs> it's really funny. Like I said, I've been here three and a half years and it's funny to see the people who said absolutely not. And they eventually come around. So um, think about that. I also really like to share how you can get to those bigger numbers. Like I said, it's not like um, I have about 1,500 people on my team. I don't know if I even know 1,500 people. So it's not like I added all those people. We use the power of three. 
So you add three people and they add three people and they add three people. And if you replicate that all the way down seven levels, that alone, you're going to be earning about $15,000 a month. And that's just one of the ways that we get paid. We actually get paid 11 different ways. So that doesn't even include your customer sales or business building bonuses or rank up bonuses or preferred customer bonus. I mean, we have so many other ways we get paid. That's just one of the ways and you'd be making $15,000 a month. So that's basically how it is. Think about three people in your life that might need the products or they might need the business um, or they just love you and trust you and you can be like, come on girl, you're gonna do this with me. Your mom, your sister, your best friend, your coworker, your neighbor, you know, just say, hey, what have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing. It's 60 days of money back guarantee. Come try these products with me or come do this business with me. Give it six months and let's see if we can make this work. You can always stop. There's no commitments, which is another thing I love about Plexus. Um, that's not necessarily true with all the other companies. So, um, let's see. When we get started, one of the first ways we start sharing, we encourage you to share on Facebook because on Facebook, you can just reach such a huge audience very, very quickly. It's definitely not the only way that we share, but it's a very crucial part of it. So you might want to do your first Facebook post. You can work with your sponsor on um, building one that's right for you. If you have a testimony, absolutely, you want to put that in your first post. You want to talk about what it's already doing for you. If you don't already have a testimony, you can either share your sponsor's testimony or you can just say, hey, I'm super excited to try these products that I've heard amazing things about. Um, who else has tried Plexus and what have you thought? And what you want to do is um, tag your sponsor in it. We have such an amazing supportive team and we will all hop on there and we'll share our stories of what Plexus has done for us. And what that does is it builds credibility with your audience that there are other people out there that also love these products. And it also shows them everything that it could help with because, you know, for me, it helped with sugar cravings and brain fog and restless leg syndrome and cholesterol and energy and sleep. But I have other people who it helped them with migraines and um, eczema and psoriasis and all these other things that, I didn't have that, but people, somebody in your audience might identify with a different thing. So um, just make sure you let us know when you're going to do that post. We'll hop on there and support it. Don't be scared. I promise the end of the world will not happen. It'll be totally fine. You'll be surprised how supportive people are. Um, and if you are really brave, I recommend that you take a picture of yourself with the products and post it on there um, because people stop scrolling when they see pictures of their friends. They want to stop and look at their friends. So you will have more people look at your post if it's a picture of you on there. All right. So what is going to happen is, um, oh, I think I have this maybe a little order. Out of order. Okay, yeah, so I can go hop to this one first. So if you have somebody who is like, huh, that's interesting, tell me more, I'm a little interested in that. You say, I'm gonna PM you, girl, and so what you're gonna do is open up a three-way chat. This is what I recommend, you don't have to do this, but open up a three-way chat with the person who's interested and your sponsor, and you're gonna say, hey, I'm excited, you're interested in learning about Plexus, I love it, but I'm new to it, so I'm adding in my friend Jennifer, who's been on a lot longer, and knows a lot more, so she can answer any questions you have. Um, you know, Lisa, this is Jennifer. And so then, I, or whoever your sponsor is, can hop in there and say, hey Lisa, happy to tell you more about it, it's been amazing for me, um, and then I know what to say, I hop in there and I start asking them questions about what they're dealing with, what they'd like to get help with, and so I can target what we talk about. And what that does is it takes all the pressure off of you to know what to do and what to say, but also it's a learning process for you so you can see how we talk about the products and what we do so that then eventually when you have your team, you can do the same thing for them. Okay, so that way you have no pressure whatsoever. All right, let me go back up to my Facebook posting. Um, I'm not going to necessarily take a lot of time in each of these things, but we do say be very consistent with posting. You will be surprised at how many people don't see your posts. The way that Facebook algorithms work is not everybody in your audience sees all of your posts. As a matter of fact, they probably only see a very small percentage because we all have hundreds of Facebook friends, right? If Facebook posted, Facebook posted and showed each person every single post they did, I mean, it would be crazy. They just can't. So they have an algorithm for deciding which post um, 
people get to see in their newsfeed. And we talk a little bit more about that too during our training about how to boost it in the newsfeed. Um, you want to make sure that your posts are personal, like you're talking to a friend and not like you're being an ad. So I'm trying to give an example of what that would be like. It's not like, um, these products are great. Buy now. There's a big sale. You know, join me. Message me now. Blah, blah, blah. It's more attraction marketing is what we like to do. We're just sharing about what we love about the products. And people want that when they have, when they see that you're having success, they also want energy. They want great sleep. They want all those same things. So you just talk about your experiences with the products or other people's experiences. You're welcome to use any of our testimonies. Um, in Plexus, we all share. So you can use basically any post that you see anyone else uh, post on Facebook. Um, but just try not to, to get salesy because that will definitely turn people off. Um, and you know, yeah, we have different kinds of posts. Sometimes we post third party articles to show credibility about the ingredients in our products. And sometimes it is a testimony and sometimes it's talking about what the business can do for people. Um, just different things like that to keep it interesting. Um, I definitely recommend that you Facebook friend your upline and follow Jules or anyone else that your sponsor thinks does really good posts because it's gonna show you how to post. You can definitely take their posts and steal it. <laughs> Make sure you read it first so that you're not recopying where somebody said it helps them with IBS and you don't have IBS or whatever. But um, like I said, we all, we all steal each other's posts. But um, I just listed on here a few different ambassadors that are jewels that do great posts. And um, we say don't click share on a post. You want to just copy and paste it because you'll learn a little bit more, I think, this week on, um, or next week maybe, not sure. Um, privacy settings on Facebook. If it's not set to public, when you click share, your audience won't see it. Um, and then here is one way that I do want to share about how you can boost it in the newsfeed. So we all like to comment on each other's Facebook posts because what happens is the more comments you get, the more people Facebook will show your post to. So you need at least three comments for it to really be boosted in the newsfeed. So make friends with other Plexus people. When you do a post, they comment on it, return the favor and comment back on their post that the, they'll be more likely to comment again on yours. Um, and you guys can keep returning the favor. Um, you know, we don't use Buffer as much anymore. I, maybe I should take that off here. I have been hearing that it's reducing um, the percentage of audience that it will show your post to when you use Buffer. So I can really encourage that right now. Um, let's see. Oh, this is super important. Make sure you're still posting about, you know, your family and your friends and your activities and what's going on in life and your recipe that you just tried out that you love and, um, you know, all those different things that are keeping your friends and family coming to your page to see what's going on with you. Because if it just looks like a Plexus ad, if it's only Plexus posts, they're not going to be so interested in coming to see what you have to say. Um, I try to keep it positive and clean. You'd be surprised how much it turns people off when you're not. And, you know, as far as posting the website, I actually recommend not posting it at all. We used to say put it in the comments, but now I really recommend not posting it at all because you want to start a conversation with anybody who's interested. You want them to message you so you can start talking to them about it so you can learn are they looking for weight loss? Are they looking for uh, help with a certain health issue? And then you can kind of guide them to the products that would be right for them and talk about how it can help. Maybe send them a testimony of somebody that it did help with that same issue so that they're super excited about it before they just go to the website and are scrolling through a laundry list of products and they're not sure which is right for them. And then they see the retail price, which is way high compared to what they could get it for. And they start getting concerned about the price and all that kind of stuff. It's better to have a dialogue first. So I don't give them the website until after they've messaged me and we've had a conversation. Um, there are ways to set up distribution lists. If you are scared to post on Facebook because you're like, Oh my gosh, there are certain people I just don't want to see my Plexus post. I understand. And there are different ways you can do that. You can either um, set your privacy so that it's everybody except, and you can do everybody except 
your mother-in-law and your boss and your ex-boyfriend, whatever. Um, whoever it is, you don't want to see it. Or if you really want to just set a list of certain people to see it, you can set up a distribution list of just Plexus posts. I only want these people to be in my list to see my Plexus posts. Um, and you can ask your sponsor about that if you want to know how to do that um, and play around with it. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I love this one. I love telling people. <laughs> people are watching. People are stalking your Plexus posts. I guarantee you people are stalking your Plexus posts, even if you're getting, like, no comments, no likes, no comments. You're like, it is crickets out there. Nobody cares about these posts. There are people who are like, that's interesting. Huh. So it's helping her with all that. I can sit back and watch. I'm thinking about it. I'm maybe not ready yet, but one of these days, I'm going to reach out to her and ask her about it. And they're waiting to see if you stick with it or if this is just some fad you're going through. And um, when they're ready, they will message you, but maybe you will message them before then. And they'll be like, you know what? I've been thinking about it. I've been watching your Plexus post. It's amazing to me how many times I hear that. I message somebody and they're like, yeah, I've been thinking about it. I've been watching your Plexus post. I'm, I'm kind of interested. Tell me more. And I'm like, why didn't you just message me? But they don't. So um, don't be worried if you are not getting a bunch of likes and comments. Keep going. You will hear from them eventually. What you're doing is you're planting seeds. And there's really, they say, about a 90-day payoff um, or lead time. So the work you put in now pays off in about 90 days. And it's like growing your garden. You're planting seeds. And I promise it will pay off. Don't stop before you get to see the fruit of all your labor. Um, you also want to be continuously expanding your friends on Facebook because you, that's your audience. That's your market. So um, when you go through life and you see people that you do life with, but they're not Facebook friends with them, send them a friend, friend request or just say, hey, I just realized we're not Facebook friends. Um, here, let's uh, friend each other. It's normal. It's natural. Everybody's on Facebook now, so don't worry about it. But, you know, if you realize your kids um, – in soccer and the other soccer moms you're not Facebook friends with or coworkers or your hairstylist or, you know, whoever it is that you're not friends with, add them on Facebook. So they'll start seeing your Plexus posts. Um, let's see. Do not add prices. Yeah, we don't really add prices except for you can say the join fee is $34.95. And we also are careful about stating disease names. Um, we don't say lupus and fibromyalgia and stuff like that. Um, if you're worried about saying something, I'll be honest, the easiest way to make sure <laughs> it's okay is just not make it public. If your post is not public, then Plexus can't see it and you're just going to be, in case you ever mess up, you're covered. So, um, it's better just do your friends list or a distribution list. And, you know, we just say it helps with the um, issues associated with or something like that. Um, an example would be like saying um, ongoing headaches versus migraines or something like that. You know what I mean? We get a little creative with it. Okay, we already talked about three-way chats. You know, the other thing that I will say about um, launching your business is even though Facebook is the first way we really get the message out there to a lot of people, even before you do that, I recommend you sit down and you do your list of um, people, you probably don't even have to make a list, you know who they are, your close, close friends and family member who are going to be ticked off if they find out about this on Facebook. They're going to be like, you're doing this whole thing you didn't tell me? Like, why didn't you call me up and tell me first? So call those people up, the people that you really are close to or, you know, see them in person, have lunch, whatever, and tell them in person what you're doing and be like, I wanted you to be one of the first people to know that I'm doing this and I want you to do it with me. And they will appreciate that and they will be flattered, actually. So do that before you start spamming everybody on um, Facebook with your posts so that they feel special. You reached out to them first. Um, and this is for sure, like I said, not the only way that we share about Plexus, but we're starting with Facebook. We're going to go over the next four weeks with other ways that you can share about Plexus. So if you're not huge into Facebook, don't worry about it. There are other ways to share, but I would say start to get familiar with it because you're going to do yourself a favor if you um, get familiar with Facebook and use it as well. So I think that was all I had for tonight. So I'm going to unmute you guys.
really fast. Um, let's see. 